Okay, this, this, this looks good for some powder foundation. Welcome back or to my channel. I am being ambitious, blink blink. And if it's your first time here, what's poppin' sis? I hope you catch a vibe that makes you wanna subscribe. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a review of the Fenty Beauty Foundation Powder. So I'm so excited to be bringing this to you guys on today. However, today's video is gonna be in collaboration with my girl around the way, Jane. So after you check out my video, make sure you hit her link in the description box and check out her review of the Fenty Powder Foundation. We're both gonna be giving you guys two different looks. So if you want to get more into if you should really buy this product, make sure you check out Around the Way Jane's video. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So this is the standard packaging that it comes in. I have it in the shade 420. I go in between the shades 440 in the summertime and 420 in the winter. And due to the pandemic, I work from home. So I have not really been out much. So I decided to go with the shade 420 because it was also recommended that you go down a shade also. Simply because with powder foundation, even though in the pan it may look lighter, once you place it on your skin, it does get gradually a little bit darker. So that's why I decided to go down a shade. Fingers crossed that it really works with my shade. This is what it looks like on the inside. You can flip it up and you get that standard, you know, sponge that some people use. I don't think I'm going to use it that much, maybe for touch-ups, but not that often. And it comes with the mirror here. This one is like a maximized mirror versus this one right here. So this is always going to be really good to um, carry in your bag. So, so just giving you guys a closer up of it. Of course, it has the standard FB in the middle. This is supposed to be long wear, light as air, no flashback. Blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blurry finish. It's supposed to be sweat, humidity, and crease resistant. Buildable, light to full coverage formula that loves to be layered. Won't settle into fine lines, cause pores, or cake up. Reduces the appearance of shine. Cheek portable powder foundation and it fits in your hand. So we're gonna see if it does all of that. So let's get into the actual application. When it comes to application with a powder foundation, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you are well moisturized. You don't wanna go using a powder foundation on dry skin. So if you have a drier skin, I would suggest that you do the next steps that I'm about to do, just so that your foundation will look you know, flawless and not cakey. So I've already cleansed my skin, I toned my skin using the fat water from Fenty Skin. So now I'm going to take the next steps, which is using the e.l.f. illuminating eye cream And I'm going to just place it around my eyes Get onto my eyeballs because what we don't want to happen is You know dry skin around that area and as y'all know your girl is what 29 Okay, we got to make sure that those dark circles are taken care of mama Now I know with powder foundation, a lot of people think it's supposed to be an easier process and in some ways that it can, but I will say with using a powder foundation, application and prepping your skin is so important. Unlike with a liquid foundation, you could probably just go in with a primer and you'll be okay, but with a powder foundation, it's really important that you actually moisturize before you place down that primer. So the next step I'm going to use is my Paws Dry Skin cream facial i love this stuff love it love it love it gonna take a generous amount of this and place it on my skin so that my skin is well moisturized and i don't consider myself to have all dry skin i consider myself to have a um, combination in my t-zone area i'm a little bit oily in other areas especially around my brows here i can be a bit dry so i use this dry cream and it works great for me make sure you get down to your neck Oh, I feel so moisturized. Mm, mm, mm. Love that. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to be using the Hydrating Primer by Fenty Skin. Love it. Love it. Love it. And if you don't have the Fenty Skin Hydrating Primer, that's okay, mama. As long as you are using a primer that is hydrating and, you know, great for your, your particular skin, 
that's all that matters. But remember, with a powder foundation, we want to make sure that we are hydrating our skin. Mm. I love the way this stuff smells. Mm. Mm, it smells so yummy. Okay, so now that we are all moisturized under our eyes, our face is moisturized, we are primed up with a hydrating primer. The next step that we're going to do with using a powder foundation is we're going to work backwards. So, you know, usually with a liquid foundation, you would apply your liquid foundation and then you apply your concealer and your bronzer and so forth and so forth. Well, with this, we got to work backwards because you want to always make sure you apply your liquids first. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Fenty beauty concealer under my eyes down the bridge of my nose my forehead my cupid's bow as well as a bit on my chin okay and today i'm going to be using fenty beauty 390 and 400 use 390 right here and 400 right there and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to use 400 on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose Okay, so if I was going to contour using a cream product, I would then go ahead and do that. So if you're on that step with your powder right now, you want to go ahead and cream contour, you can. But I'm going to choose to powder contour later on, okay? So now that I have highlighted all in these areas, the next step that I'm going to do is spot treat a little bit of the dark spots that I have, particularly right here. Uh, here and a few other places on the side of my face here just so that I don't have to use that much powder to spot treat those dark spots I'm going to be using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade CW08 Don't mind that I have not yet uh, Set underneath my eyes. We're going to do that after we apply our powder foundation girl so stick with me, mama. See, I know most people think that with a powder foundation, you don't have to work that much. Well, that's true if you have perfect skin. I don't have perfect skin, so you have to do a little bit of work to use your powder foundation, okay? But that doesn't make it a bad product. You still get that overall, you know, really lightweight look. I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty blush in the shade Summertime Wine. This is their cream blush. I'm going to take a bit of that. So now that we have our blush done, we have spot treated, we have highlighted. If I was going to cream contour, I would have cream contour. We're going to move on to the start of the show, which is the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. Now with the powder foundation, there are multiple looks that you can get, okay? You can get a full glam look, girl. You can get a lightweight look. You can use this to dust over your Fenty Beauty uh, liquid foundation to get a long lasting look. Look, listen, this you can do a lot with it, all right? Let's see how it goes. All right, I'm going to have to bring it out in a little bit. Oh, I'm so excited. It's my first time using this product, all right? I'm... Okay, let me bring y'all. You in, girl? You in? Mm hmm. All right. It feels really, really. Oh, I love how that was covered. It feels really, really lightweight. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but I can definitely tell. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, this will be perfect for a, you know, everyday type of look lightly over where I highlight it. But we're going to go in with our highlighter powder too, but yeah, I like that. I love this stuff all right and it's giving me what i was looking for which was just a very you know light type of look so i'm gonna go in with their fancy beauty setting powder and i'm gonna set all of my highlighted places okay so now i'm gonna go in with the fancy beauty bronzer in the shade mocha mommy just to bronze up my face a bit I will say this also, 
with this product um it's so important again to really prep your skin because if not you will end up using too much product and you will still get that cakey look with the powder foundation you want to look very natural so uh make sure that you prep your skin like i did so that you you know won't have to use as much product i will say that so now let's go in and work on my brows and this brow gel is by nyx it's a brow mascara it's in the shade espresso all right so i'm going to take a little bit more of that powder just a little bit on my flat top brush here and just remove everywhere that I highlighted. So I'm going to be using a Fenty Beauty What It Do Refreshing Spray just to refresh it. Even though I feel like I don't have that powdery look. It's just a thing. Oh, I love the way it still smells. And we are going to top it all off by using the Fenty Beauty Fuzzy Lip Gloss. All right, you guys, so I'm going to come back with my final looks. I'm going to apply some mascara, some eyelashes, you know, and we'll be back for my final thoughts of the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. All right, you guys, so I am loving this Fenty Beauty Powder. Like, I'm going to be leaning toward this a lot simply because even when putting on my shirt and stuff, like, it's not transferring. Like, I love that. It looks so natural. I mean, if I didn't do blush and stuff, like if I just did this base without the blush, you know, if I chose a blush, a blush that was more to my skin tone, I feel like it would just look like I got really good skin. Like, I love this. Especially, I don't think the, the, the camera is doing it the justice that I want. Maybe when I'm editing, I'll be able to tell. But from my, like, film view, I'm like, dang, like, I feel like the blush is shining with this foundation. I mean, I guess that's the point, right? The foundation is just covering it up. Like, I just look refreshed. You know, I look really, really refreshed. You can use this foundation for so many different reasons. Again, I wanted it because I am one of those girls who just like a more natural look. I'm looking refreshed. I look good, you know, cover up those blemishes that I have. And if you're a full glam type of girl, please still get this too. You can still very much get full glam with this. Just remember, it's all about the brush that you use. And no matter if you're going for a full glam or a lightwear look, just know you have to prep your skin to use a powder foundation. And not just this foundation any type of powder foundation you want to use um you want to make sure that you're prepping your skin you don't want to put powder on top of dry skin you, you just you just can't all right and i know that a lot of people think that powder foundation is just a little bit more easier there's some prep work to be done but i don't mind <laughs> if i'm gonna go this, this look if i'm gonna get this look i don't mind okay i'll go for it so if you have not already got your hands on the fenty beauty powder foundation Please make sure that you do that. This retails at I think between $32 to $36. But yeah, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys truly enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving your girls a big thumbs up. Make sure you interact with the video. Comment down below. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see y'all in my next video. Bye.